Hi guys, how are you today? Welcome to You the Church, and I'm Darian. In this video, we're going to be talking about Operation Christmas Child. Thanks for watching this video, everybody. I'm Darian, and we're talking about Operation Christmas Child today. This is a ministry that ships off shoeboxes filled with goodies to kids who don't have a Christmas. So this is an awesome opportunity to, to serve and to give and also to get your family together. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in just a few minutes. But first off, what is Operation Christmas Child? Well, like I already said, it's an opportunity to give and it's a ministry that ships off shoeboxes to third world countries, to kids who are in poverty situations who don't have a Christmas and they don't have gifts to get under the tree at Christmas time. So what we're doing here to give back and to serve them is we pack up shoe boxes that are wrapped and sealed and we ship them off to the third world countries so that we can give them a Christmas and the hope of Jesus Christ. So, a little bit more about how to get involved with this and how you can take part in this ministry. So, this is how I'm taking part this year. I wrapped a shoe box and I wrapped it up with my wrapping paper. I got a hinged shoe box that I wrapped the top and the bottom separately and I've got it all packed with a bunch of goodies. Now there's different ages for uh, boys and girls. There's three of them. And you can choose which age you wanna buy for and you can stuff your shoe box with all of the good stuff that did that age would like. They don't have technology, just so you know. So no like iPhone stuff or anything. They don't have any of that. It's a shocker, but it really goes to show that the littlest things the littlest things that we give them make the biggest impact. So you can wrap your shoe box and fill it with school supplies, stuff uh, like for writing, some toys and wow items, and you can fill it up and once you're done wrapping and filling, you can put a rubber band around it and slap your label on it and we'll, you can ship it out. Now, if you want a complete list of what to put in your box, you can check that out in the description below uh, through the Operation Christmas Child website. It'll show you what to pack, what not to pack. And speaking of what not to pack, here's two things not to pack in your shoebox this year. Chocolates and other candies. Now, as much as we want to give the kids a sweet treat this year with our shoe boxes, unfortunately, due to customs, we cannot ship any more candy, uh, chocolates, or candy canes anymore. So, unfortunately, no chocolates. But, fortunately, that leaves more sweets and candy for you. And speaking of that, you're gonna need some toothpaste after you indulge in all that candy and sweets. Toothpaste is another item that you not ship in your shoe box. You can do toothbrushes and it is encouraged, but no toothpaste this year. So with toothpaste and chocolates and candies, that's too uh -uh, don't do that. So once you've packed your shoe box and you're ready to ship it off, uh, put your label on there and you can actually get a label from online if you pay a $9 donation. You can actually get a QR code that you can track where your box is, which is so awesome. So I would highly encourage you to do that as well. So once you got that, you can drop it off at one of the drop-off locations near you. There is also a complete list of drop-off locations on the Operation Christmas Child website in the description, so check that out. And the National Drop-Off Weekend is November 12th to November 20th. So you can drop it off anytime from this Sunday, today, till next Monday. So it's so awesome that there's so many days that you can get involved and pack the shoe box. So now that we've talked a little bit about the shoe boxes and how to take part in this, let's talk a little bit about you, the church, and how we did this year with our shoe box mission. So last year for our youth group, we packed 30 shoe boxes. It was our very first time doing it. And let me tell you, it was a little bit rough. I'd never done anything like this before, so this was a, a completely new experience for me. But coming back f uh, with that experience this year, I wanted to set my bar a little bit higher, but I didn't know how high I was going to set it. Maybe 30, maybe 50. So as I was announcing in our uh, church announcements on one Sunday morning, I was announcing this event and I just randomly spread it out 
this year we're shooting for 100 shoe boxes and I don't know where that came from because I hadn't got any supplies at that point. We didn't really have any shoe boxes and there really wasn't enough to go around for 100 shoe boxes. I believe it was God and it was the Holy Spirit saying that because the community got to work. Our church and the community around me, thanks to Facebook and word of mouth, things started pouring in. Like literally, we had so many donations and I wish I could thank all of you for all the hard work and all the, the money that was spent and just the prayers on this event. I just want to tell you guys and just share this with you in such joy and excitement that this year at our event, we packed a hundred shoe boxes. I'm so, so blessed by what happened here. It was literally all God. I could have been so anxious about this and I was starting to get a little bit anxious because you know, we didn't have the enough supplies and when we finally did have enough supplies, last night, we didn't have enough shoe boxes to go around and I show up in church today. And this is amazing. We ended up having just like a hundred shoe boxes, like to the dot. So let me tell you, the Lord works in mysterious ways. And if it wasn't for him, this, this would have never happened. And it's for his glory too. This is not just for us to have fun and get together, but this is for him. This is for, for Jesus to glorify him and to give kids the message of hope because this event has more of an impact than you even know. I just want to thank everybody who showed up for this event. We had 14 uh, You the Church students show up today, which is awesome. There's a lot of people that said the regrets that they couldn't come, but 14 showed up. Some new faces were there, which was so awesome. And we also had seven adults help out, step up to the game. We thank you so much every adult that showed up, every leader that showed up. We're so blessed by everybody that showed up, everybody that donated and gave us the funds to make this possible. So we have you to thank and we have God to thank because this was absolutely all God. Like, he just he gave me the peace that I needed. Thank you, God. And the impact of this event was not only spiritually significant, but it was building up of your community. See, when you do this, it gives you an opportunity for your family to come together, for your community or your church to come together and work together for a greater goal. And that's what it's like being a Christian. It's not boring and it shouldn't be so legalistic like that. You know, when you come together and do stuff like this, or when you come together in general as a church, you should be willing to, to give to other people who are in need. You should be willing to go talk to that believer who is struggling or that odd person who always raises their hand in church, which is probably me. <laughs> I dare you to go do it. Serve your community. Be a part of the body of Christ, which he's called us all to be as believers. This impact goes way beyond just the body of believers. It makes believers. Let me tell you, there's story after story of kids who have received these boxes who have accepted Jesus into their hearts and lives, and he's changed their lives. And not just the spiritual significance, but the material significance. There is a sort of significance through material things. Through these shoe boxes and through the supplies that we give them, some kids have gone on and they've been empowered and emboldened to know that they can do greater things. Like, I heard a story that our leader Quentin shared about a kid who received a tape measure and he ended up being like a builder when he grew up and like it just changed his life so this could change a kid's life so i encourage you and i charge you today if you're watching this video make a shoe box make a shoe box at home and wrap it up all nice stick some stuff inside from the dollar store or from five below or something like that get all the details in the description of this video and dude, just pack a shoe box and change a kid's life forever and give them the hope of jesus I think that's awesome and it's a way that you can serve your community and you can serve somebody over in a third world country without even having to go. So that's my encouragement for you. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you are just encouraged by this. I know I am completely encouraged by how God just worked everything out for this. A hundred shoe boxes that we're going to be shipping off. Drop off your shoe box, pack one this week. And thank you for watching this video. Continue to watch more videos on You the Church. I'm Darian, God bless you, and we love you very much. Take care. Bye.
Christmas is all